Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you how to turn off Snapchat notifications. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So there's two different methods to turning off Snapchat notifications. You can turn them off in your settings and then you can also turn them off in the Snapchat app. If you want to ensure you get no notifications whatsoever, turn them off in your settings and in your Snapchat. I'm going to show you how to do it in your settings first. So First off, launch your settings, and then you're just going to scroll down through your apps until you find Snapchat. There we go. And depending on how many apps you have, you can potentially search Snapchat in your settings as well to save some time. You'll click on Snapchat, and then you'll find the notifications option at the bottom here. And then at the top, you'll find the allow notifications, and you're simply just going to turn that off. That makes everything beneath it disappear because everything beneath here has to do with notifications. Once you turn that off, it's all gonna disappear. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This helps the channel to grow and it helps us reach a larger audience. Thanks again and let's get back to the video. And this is just going to ensure that you will not be receiving any Snapchat notifications. Obviously you can come back in and turn this back on anytime um, just by following the same steps that I just showed you. And then the next way is to turn off Snapchat notifications in your Snapchat itself. So you're going to launch Snapchat. You're going to click on your icon in the top left corner. And then go into the settings icon in the top right. And down at the bottom, you'll find notifications and you'll click that. And then you can scroll through and turn off or on any of these notifications. The message notifications you'll find here, message reminders, and you'll want those turned off if you don't want to receive any message uh, notifications whatsoever. To be safe, you can also just turn off all of them. If you want to receive no notifications, you can just turn these all off. But if you're not sure what you're turning off, it's smart to read through, and I can go over all of them right now. So the first one is Bitmojis in notifications. If you had notifications on, this is just going to show if your friend had a Bitmoji, it's going to insert their Bitmoji in um, the notification so that you know who has messaged you. Beneath us, we have stories from friends, and this is going to be a notification anytime your friends post a Snapchat story. Trending public content is beneath this, so you can get occasional notifications about trending or popular public stories. This is going to be everything you find on that Discover page when you swipe to the right all the way. Um, but if you don't want to receive any notifications for those, you just turn that right off. Um, friend suggestion, mentions, so if someone tags you in a Snapchat, you'll get a notification for that if this is on. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory, friends birthdays, um, message reminders, and then creative effects. So if this is if Snapchat creates any new filters or anything, they'll, you can get notified for that. And then you can also have this best friend message sounds option here. This is going to give um, best friends on Snapchat their own notification sounds. So if you had your sounds on um, and you got a notification, your best friends on Snapchat are gonna just have their own. Public story and saved stories notifications. Posts to Spotlight and Snap Map, map notifications. So this is going to give you any notifications about your friend Snap Map activity. Also receive notifications when your friends pin you to their lock screen. And then beneath this, we have other message preferences. So transactional messages, promotional messages. You can have these off as well, so you never get anything like that. You can also manage your story notifications down here. So this is if you had story notifications on for your friends, you can go through and select specific friends that you want notifications for. That way you're not going to have um, notifications for every single friend on Snapchat. You can have just specific ones. If they post a story, you'll get a notification. And then once again, you can always come back in and turn these off or on. As a bonus tip, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit or change your friend emojis on Snapchat. So Snapchat assigns emojis to friends on Snapchat according to where they land on your list of friends. So you can see what that list is by going into your settings and scrolling down to the additional services, friend emojis. Here's gonna be where you find what these emojis mean next to your friends. So if they have the pink heart, it's a super BFF. 
uh, Red Heart as BFF, besties, mutual besties, etc., etc. And often these can appear um, and you have no idea what they mean or why they're there. Um, this is just going to give you a brief description of what they mean. And then you can also click on them and you can change what those emojis are. So instead of having this double heart, you can change it to whatever you want. Scroll through your emojis and pick the one that suits it the best. You can also go into your AI and change what that emoji is. You have a whole bunch of different options here. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you found this video helpful. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video.